welcome welcome johnny johnny yes papa telling lies no papa open your mouth <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what are you laughing for andre this is like don't you remember that scene yeah it completely you know what I only remembered it while you was doing it, but I didn't. I, didn't, I wouldn't remember it until you done it. I was like, okay, yes. That is a classic children's ride. Yeah, I want to story. It right, just yeah. kind of it had me smiling. <laughs> Welcome to Chatterbox. I am P, and with me today I have the team. I have ladies' love, Andre. Hey, hey, what's going on? And we also have. The South London skanker, Sean. Yo, what's good? You know, after watching Kunda Hafiz, I was buzzing about this one. We loved the trailer. Budya gave us a shout out on his story. So as soon as the movie was released on Hotstar, we were streaming it. Now, if you haven't guessed it by now, this is none other than the movie Sanak, which features Vijit Jamwal, the goddesses Rukumi, eh, Maitra, and Neha Dupia, and Chadan Roy Chanel, directed by Kaish Varma and written by Ashish Prakash Verma. Now, straight away, I'm going to ask you guys for a Western audience, if they were to ask you what storylines were similar to this one, what would you guys say? Well, it's a, it's a typical Die Hard type movie, basically. Um, we've all seen a, lo a lot of those before. Um, nothing wrong with that, because Die Hard is a classic. It's a simple story of someone getting stuck, a hero getting stuck somewhere and having to deal with some bad guys. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have to follow up on that and say, yes, I agree with the Die Hard factor. But then there's also an element of um, John Q, I would say, probably mixed in there as well. Um, you know, the whole thing with her not, you know, suffering from an illness and um, needing to get help, essentially, um, in the hospital. So, yeah. Okay, so I saw Force, one of his earlier movies, and then I um, followed that up by watching the Commando trilogies. I've always had this love for Vidya that he has this no messing around style. He just gets straight in, whether he has to break a couple of bones, break a couple of necks, so be it. So, guys, what were your thoughts on Vidya's performance and the rest of the cast? I, I loved it. I, it was really good. Um, he got to do a few things, a few different things from what I've seen anyway, um, like his chemistry with um, his wife. Um, a few nice scenes like that and him, them playing about with each other, which was really good. Um, a few other people as well, he had some nice um, scenes with. But of course, his fighting is excellent. His fight scenes are just great. I love his, um, his kind of different um, fight scenes because he's more vulnerable. He gets hit and he has other people that look like they might have a chance, even though, you know, in the end, they're not. But in that fight scene, you know, it, it makes it look like that. And I like that about him. So, yeah, I really enjoyed him. And our performances I liked was um, the wife. Um, she was just wonderful in it. Like, um, she had some great scenes with him, like I said already. And um, there was a guy who who he's introduced to, and he doesn't know if he's um, one of the hostage takers. And the guy is telling him he's not. He, I think, was really good in it. So, yeah, he was funny as well. So, yeah. With, with him, when I watch his films, I always think there's that special element of the fact that you know that he can actually do this in real life. This isn't no joke. This isn't no, like, camera tricks or anything like that. He can kick ass. So, I mean, it makes it more believable. So, for me, when I watch his scenes, yes, I know it's not real, but I, I always feel like, you know what, that is, that is badass. I like what he did right there. And I know he could probably do that in real life. So all the tricks that he had, like the, the, the opening um, fight scene, by the way, I just got to quickly say, wow, that was really good. Uh, that was one of my special moments. And then the one in the hospital with um, the chairs, it was like in one of the waiting rooms that he had where he was fighting these two guys. Boy, Vigil, if you're watching this, my guy, 
you did a fantastic job in that one as well, so yeah. Because, yeah, we know Video was the man and he, he stole the show, but were there any other actors that you're kind of going, you know what? Hey. Do you know what? I, I think, um, well, I like the little boy who knew a lot about the guns, the one who was always playing mm. you know, like video games and all that. And his, I think it was like his dad or uncle or someone kept asking him, like, how do you know this and how do you know that? He was giving some little cheeky lines, not like... Not every gun is an AK-47 or something like that. <laughs> There's loads of other guns, you know, uncle. Like, yeah, so that was some little funny moments. And I mean, you could see, like, he was helping Vidjot on this uh, mission to take down the bad guys as well, which I thought was pretty cool to see, like, a child actor that could hold his own and play a supporting role to, to like, a big um, actor like um, Vidjot. So... I think that was good. You know, he held his nerve and put in a good performance. I loved the um, dialogue that he had with his wife in the film. I thought that was really good as well because there was a lot of cheekiness in there. I mean, at one point, the doctor said to him, you know, she needs to get a lot of rest, um, you know, after she had a successful um, operation. And she, my girl was talking about going and playing Kabaddi. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, yo... You're, you're a gangster, you're a gangster, man. I like <laughs> so, yeah, they had a lot, a lot of funny, um, sweet moments together as a couple. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. None of you have really mentioned the, the police officer. Um, somehow, for me, she stood out um, from the very first scene where she grabbed that guy by his and um, she squeezed it till he told the truth. She stood out for me. She was great in it. Like her scenes were really nice with her daughter. That was excellent. And she she was just, yeah, you know, because the way she was acting, like I just I was like, I like you. <laughs> She's bussy and a she, does, she does well. <laughs> she used to be she was um a finalist for Miss Universe. So she um I get it. I get it. Days. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so all right. So, guys, if I asked you straight up, what was one of your favourite scenes? Okay, see, I'm just going to mention two. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> cheat, right? Because I really did like the villain, and I did like what he did, the scene where he's, he's chatting to the hostages, and he just throws that woman out the window. And I just think he was really good. Right? He, he was like, okay, yeah, he's serious, and he, he means what he says. And um, the character of Riaz, when I mentioned before, um, scenes with Vidyat, like them two, when he's introduced to Riaz and he's saying, no, um, how, uh, how do I know you're not, you know, you're one of them? And he's saying, come on, sir, I ain't got my gun or anything. He, he was just speaking common sense and he was funny. And it was like, uh, Vidyat was saying, all right, fair enough. You're, 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 not, you're not one of the bad guys. And I really like that introduction. He didn't get a lot to do after that, but that really stood out for me. And I really enjoyed that scene. And every time he came on, I was like, ah, oh, he's good. Like he had a few other stuff with um, the little boy as well. So that was cool. But I would probably say the one where they had that fight in the storage room, the way he was crawling under the shelves, <laughs> like I don't know, he's, he's like, he was that. He just, yeah, he was just that was uh, the <laughs> like that. That was that was really good. And then he went from doing that to then being on top, and then the guy was obviously walking underneath him, and then the blood dripped on him, and then like the fight that unfolded after that as well. Like the whole scene together, just based around that story dream, I thought that was really good. Um, mm. And obviously, in the end, when he like escaped and the guy came in, and it was like, no, and he shot the gun, and then it was like, boom. Like, mm. Yeah, that, that was a really good scene. So, yeah, for me, I've got to say that one. Uh, um, to kind of support your point, um, the scene that had me creasing up was that bit where when he shot the milk. And the milk came oh. trailing down. Yeah! Yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah! It was just like, I was just like, what? It was crazy. Yeah. I love that scene. That, I thought mm. that was a fantastic scene. Mm. It was original. Yeah. It's original. It was, there were some mm. original elements to it. Ashish Prakash Verma, um, this was one of, I think this was one of the first screenplays he's done by himself for a feature film. What did you think of the storyline? This I have a few things to say about the storyline, but I want to hear what were your views on the storyline? Well, to be honest, there wasn't much of a storyline. Like I said, it was very standard in what I, what they do, but I wasn't expecting anything special storyline-wise, but I was expecting um, good fight scenes and, and good scenes in general, which I got. 
Um, yeah, storyline. It was just like, to me, it was like a, a 90s or 2000 action movies, which I love, by the way, which has a limited storyline just so we can get to the good action scenes and stuff like that. So I got what I expected. So I, I, I enjoyed the movie. But yeah, very standard storyline for me. I felt that the storyline, it started where for, there was going to be a great storyline um, in it. He was low on finances. He wanted to kind of get the surgery for his wife. And I was like, where is he going to go with that? How is he going to make money? Is he going to lose his house? And then then he got into the action. And it was like the writer was like, you know what? We just so stole the show. Let's forget about the rest of the storyline. So they never covered his finances again. At the end of the film, I thought, is he going to get a reward for saving the hospital to cover his finances? But they didn't even cover that. And then there was even a scene where they were talking about, I think the police person came up to him and says, oh, I know you want to keep your identity quiet. And I was like, but just before she said that, the news reporter had just said his name, a local hero by this, had said, and I was just like, so I just felt there was a little few gaps in the storyline that made me go, huh? But I kind of put that to a side because Fiji broke a few bones, he snapped a few necks and he saved the day. So you kind of go, you know what? I forgive them for that. What did you think about the cinematography and the special effects? I, I thought the fire, the fire in the scene, what you mentioned, I think it was the milk scene, where um, where the babies were, I think it might have been like the ICU for the babies, um, yeah. pediatric ward or whatever it was. Um, that that um, fire scene for me was really good. I like the special effects that they did there. The bit where I, I'm guessing it would have been special effects, but where the, the, the final scene where he was fighting the bad guy and they was in the lift shaft, um, that bit there where he had to do the final flip to come out when he told her to let him go, um, that was pretty dramatic. And I mean, again, I'm saying if that's special effects, I think they did a really good job there because I didn't really see anything that was off in that scene. So great camera work or whatever it is that they did there. Other than that, I mean, most of what we get with his films, I don't think it's necessarily revolved around special effects, really. It's more around just the fight and the overall performance of him when it comes to combat. So the cameras they used to shoot the film for me was good quality because I did like the look and feel of the film. I think it was really fitting. And I know Andre touched on Die Hard. It did definitely have that element to the way that it looked and came off um, when watching it. But yeah, other than that, yeah. What else can you say really? They did a decent job on it. It, um, it, well, Sean said everything he needed to say. I ain't really got. <laughs> see, see, I I really like the cinematography. I thought it was good, but where I felt they I felt they let it down, and I thought this element was missing from the film in terms of cinematography. I would have liked to have seen some air, outside shots of the building. So when you saw the explosion, I would have loved to have seen it from the outside perspective. So that, like, you know, when it they blew up that kind of canister in the um, storeroom, I would have liked to have seen it blown outside and um, the people who are outside to see their reaction. So I'd have mm. loved to have seen some drone shots showing the building being destroyed from outside and them reacting to kind of heighten the tension. I thought that was missing. But the shots inside, I thought, were really good. I mm. also thought, if anything else, that I thought they could have done is, especially with the ballistics, I thought that they were using machine guns, they were shooting up the place, and not enough damage was done. But then again, when I did look into the budget, the budget was $4 million. And for what they produced from four million pounds, I thought that was fantastic. I was just like, oh, wow. yeah, I've seen so many films that cost 10 to 15 million. I don't have half as much action and as much detail as this film did. What would you change if you had a chance? Do you know what? The one thing I'll probably change is that I would have probably had less of um, Vidro doing um, gun scenes where he was fighting the bad guys with guns, just because I feel like I would rather him use more of his um, talents of his combat and fighting um, during the film or throughout the film. 
Um, I'm not, not to say that I don't understand that he can't limit himself to just um, doing fighting. I'm sure he might want to break out into other genres as well and things like that. But for me, just because I really enjoy what he does when he does all the combat stuff and the choreography that comes with it, I, I just think for me, I would have probably liked a little bit less of that. Mm. Um, you know what? I might be contradicting myself in terms of, because like I said, I know what it was. I know what I was getting, and action is, you know, great, fighting great. But I would have liked to see more with him and Rukmina, their scenes together, and getting to know them more, and maybe getting to know other characters in the hospital a little bit more before you get all into the into the juicy stuff. So that was one thing I might have changed. What I saw was good, but if I, if I was changing something, I would have got more of them and their chemistry together before they went into the actions, because they did... Um, come back to it as well. They did have other scenes together, but there was a long gap of them being sep separated, which is for the movie, obviously. But, you know, I would have liked to see more of them together and give her more stuff to do as well. The, the one thing that had me cracking up, though, do you know, remember when those guys were in, they were looking at the CCT camera and they were watching, like, had the whole um, hospital on the surveillance? And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's Bridget's character yeah. walking down the stairs. And I'm like, yeah, did no yeah. one see you. I'm like, listen to this, really? You have one job to surveil yeah. the place and you can't yeah. see the guy walking down the stairs. And I'm what like, what was, what was so funny is he, he, he walks down the stairs and he goes, and, and he looks up cool. at it. And, and, like, then, <laughs> and I'm like, what are you looking oh. down at? I'm like, you have one job and it's not one of you in there. You're, and then they, yeah, yeah. they left the surveillance room to go and I find it. That was funny. That was yeah. and that was the that thing. Was it had me cracking. But those <clears throat> elements they add to that kind of. I like that little feel of it. I was like, okay, that's quite comical in itself. Mm. So I did like it as well. All right, mm. straight up. Let me just ask you finally: How much would you give this film out of five, and would you recommend it to other people? This one's been, I've been thinking about this a lot. I've been thinking about this a lot. And I've been going over um, three, three and a half, four. I've been going over constantly in my head, stars. Um, it's, it's a mad one. It's a mad one because, you know why I'm, why I'm thinking about it so much? It's because the last movie we did, I gave a four. And if I give this a four... I'll be saying that it's the same, it's, it's good as that, and it's not to me. That movie was better than this movie, but you can still give people like the same number and one's better than the other. I'm, like, I'm literally like talking myself into the number in front of you guys. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy the, the, um Yeah, like I said, the only thing I didn't really enjoy, like, well, I'm not, not that I didn't enjoy it. That wasn't really anything was the storyline because it was a standard storyline and Rukmina and him could have more stuff to do together. Um, so, yeah, four stars because um, his fighting skills are just excellent. I really enjoy what, what he does when he's fighting. I love it. I love it. And it does remind me, um, we've mentioned this before, like Dez and Sean, um, Jackie Chan, when he's fighting, like doing all this stuff and using everything around him. And I love that type of stuff. And yeah, when he does, when, yeah, when he was doing this and in the part, that was excellent. And when he's calling as well and moving like that, he, he knows his body. He knows how to move his body. Um, it's a weird, weird thing to say. But yeah, I, he, he's really good, man. So I really enjoyed I think it's him that gets it up to a four. I'm sorry, I'm talking long for this, like even this number, but I think he puts it up to a number four because I like him that much. So his star power gave it, gave it a four. So yeah, and would I um, recommend it? I would recommend it to people. Yes, yeah, on streaming. So yeah, I would say yeah, you can watch it on streaming. All you have to do is get the app, watch it. Simple, like, enjoyable Saturday night action movie. Nice. Yeah, I mean, for me, I would have to give it a three and a half stars. Um, I mean, probably similar to what Andre was saying, um, we recently watched, um, well, one of the films that I watched quite recently was Mersal, which is a film that's got um, telepathic VJ in it. And for me, that film offered so much more as a whole package or as a total package 
So for me, I think I'll definitely be giving it that film a disservice if I was to give this film a four as well. But like, that's just a personal thing for me. So that doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that this film couldn't be ranked higher or anything like that. That's just me personally. So that's the main reason why I would give this one three and a half stars. So for example, if I had given, um, you know, Mersal four and a half or five stars, then obviously this could have been given higher. So um, yeah, I, but that being said, I did enjoy the film. Um, I had fun watching it. As Andre said, you know, it brings you back to sort of like the 90s, early 2000s, watching those action films, the diehards of this world, etc. So for me, it, it was um, a really good action film that was enjoyable and I would definitely recommend it to um, people to watch. So, yeah. Well, to back up what you guys said, um, Vidget's performance, I'd give five out of five. Um, I would give the casting, I would give that excellent casting throughout, I'd have given that five out of five. The cinematography um, and some of the special effects, I'd give it four out of five. The storyline, I'd give that about a one out of five um, because I just thought that there, there was so much room um, for improvement. And I would love to have seen video with a fantastic storyline, because if he had a fantastic storyline, um, what is a um, great performance would be elevated even more. So because of that, I would give it a three out of five, because linking to what Sean said, because of Mercer, you're looking at that and going, the action in Mercer was not as good as this, but the storyline was far superior, which made it a better movie. So overall, that is what let it down. Because if even though it was a short film, some somewhere along the line, I felt I wouldn't mind it of being a longer film if they had made the storyline better. Our ratings for this film was a 3.5 out of 5 um, fantasy film. This was our review to Sanak. I hope you uh, agree with us. I hope you like what we had to say. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And in the future, we'll be doing a lot more reviews. We have a lot more films that we have on our list that we're going to be watching. So please check them out. And for now, all the best and goodbye. Peace.